Where were you married and how old were you? I was 21 and I was married in New York at the Spanish and Portuguese synagogue. Hmm. <coughs> what was your job when you were married? Well, I just graduated from college. I really didn't have a job, which was fine. In those days, you didn't have to rush off to get a job and support the family. <laughs> how old were you when you... How old were you when you got your first job, and what was it? Well, I don't remember how old I was, but it was 19, 1967, and it was with Head Start. I became the director of the Head Start program. You're familiar with that? Head Start? It's like preschool. Yeah, um, preschool. Um, um, <coughs> What other jobs have you ha done in your lifetime? Well, the other biggie was being the director of the Jewish Memorial Center, which was very active back in 1975. And I was there until 1987. And now it's kind of disappeared. But you know where it is, next door to the synagogue. Mm -hmm. Good. Um. This is not your question. Yeah. Have, your fam have your family ever gone through a crisis? Yeah. Not, not very many times, but the one crisis was when I turned up with skin cancer and had to be in a hospital. Well, as a result of chemotherapy, I had to be in the hospital in Bethesda, Maryland for 11 weeks, and that was pretty tough because it was in the summer, and Susan had to be, I made her the director of the day camp, and my daughter Laurie was only 13, and you can imagine yourselves at the age you are, you are about 13, right? Not having your mother around for 11 weeks, so that was, that was pretty tough. And that was, that was a, a crisis. Do you make any special Jewish foods? <laughs> well, not anymore, particularly, but I do make brisket and I make noodle pudding. And uh, what else do I make? Like Kugel. Kugel. Well, noodle well, pudding. Kugel. Uh, matzo ball soup is pretty oh, good. Matzo, my matzo ball soup. I have my matzo ball chicken soup. I love matzo ball. And um, I guess that, that's about it. I mean, I buy everything else. Like <laughs> The herring or the gefilte fish or, or something like that. What's your favorite Jewish food? My favorite Jewish food? I have to think about it. I don't know. <laughs> I guess, I guess brisket. Popular, it's good. Was any of your family involved in the Holocaust? No. We were very lucky. As far as I know, nobody ever was. Feel happy about that. What were you doing when Israel was founded? That, you mean 1946? I graduated from high school. I did in 1946. I graduated from high school. Have you ever been to Israel? Yes. I went when I was the director of the Jewish Memorial Center. We had a conference in Israel. The small called the small town. I'll be going there for a couple of years. The uh, executives of the Jewish centers in the country. Can you tell us a little bit more about your trip? Well, it was very exciting. I, of course, I don't remember much in detail now, except that at that time I was the only female, the only woman director in the country of a Jewish center. And my husband went with me. And when we had meetings, the coordinator of the meetings would say, okay, all the directors stay, and all the spouses leave, go on your shopping trips. And Bernie never left because, <laughs> and I never left because I was the director and I had to stay, and he stayed with me. I mean, it's, it's hard to say we did go to, we were in Tel Aviv and we were in Jerusalem and mostly, you know, our bus tours took us 
throughout the country, and it was wonderful. And you're going, Bobby? Bobby? What? Um, you're Bobby or Bobby? Oh, Bobby. Bobby. In a couple of years, um, you'll be 16. They, they look, yeah, they look you'll Jewish go with kids Bertha. go. Um, the organization lets Jewish kids go once. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever experienced anti Semitism? Act actually, no. I'm very happy to say. Did your family keep kosher? No. <laughs> Not many families do. Like, I like a lot of Jewish food, but every once in a while, I'm half. There's one thing that I like, of pork. Yeah, okay. Ham barbecue or something. That's good. That's all personal preference. Mm -hmm. um, do you keep kosher? No. Were you ever involved with the Jewish youth group, fraternity, or sorority? No, when I was in college, I had nothing to do with Jew or sorority. And, um... Can you tell us more about camp, then? Well, I can tell you about camp. I went to Camp Sedgwin, and that was up in the Pocono Mountains. And I started there when I was seven, and my last year was when I was... 20, and I was the head swimming counselor, and I loved every minute of it, and that's where I learned most of my Jewish background from. What's your favorite Jewish holiday? Hanukkah. <laughs> I like Hanukkah because it's happy. I also like Rosh Hashanah because it's the beginning of the new year. And uh, I really enjoy all of them. Um, do you enjoy being Jewish? Yes. Especially now that Michael was around and he can take me to Tampa Friday night because I don't drive anymore at night. <laughs> So those are the end of the formal questions. Uh, do you guys have any other questions you want to ask her? Or Grandma, do you have anything else you want to... I'm trying to think. Well, no, I, I really I really don't like going and say all my kids have been at bar, mitz bat bat bar mitzvahs. I've got five grandchildren. I got something. How about we have Mike come over and give you a hug in the video? I'll <laughs> do it when he leaves. Oh, are you, you embarrassed? No. No, he's not embarrassed. Why would he be embarrassed? Because he doesn't want to do it on video. Oh, well, no, this is going to be, okay. you know, on the Federation website. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to get on the Federation website. I will. Oh. I hope you edit it well, Mike. Well, I'm, I'm not going to be the one editing it. Who does it? I think Mike Cohen will be doing it. Who's oh. that? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> you just got the <laughs> Hopefully um, he can edit that out. I could, good for Mike. <laughs> you better edit. Um, do you answer. wanna do you wanna talk more about your community involvement then? Well, I've been always been involved in the either community in Altoona. And, you know, as a volunteer now, I volunteered at Irving School, which is where I met Emily when she was in first grade. Mm -hmm. And now she's in seven, seven. Wow. And she's much taller than I am. <laughs> <laughs> and I served as a board member for Call for Action, which... What is your first name? Marissa. Marissa. Which Marissa's father would be familiar with, because Call for Action is under the auspices of WTIJ. And our office was there. And I also, um, right now, I, let's see. I'm on the Federation Board, I'm on the Temple Board. I also was on the Civic Music Board, uh, Blair County Civic Music, that is. Uh, oh, through the years, I've been, a, I've done a lot of those. <laughs> 